Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math Practice number 205. 205. So today we're going to learn something incredible about infinity. And it's going to lead into the next thing we talk about tomorrow. So, so far, we've talked about infinity with, with the counting numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. Right? And we learned that if you, if you uh, do that, you have the same number of even numbers as all numbers, right? And then we learned about Hilbert's hotel, yeah. where if the ho even if the hotel was full and a bus with an infinite number of people showed up, you could fill it, yeah. or they could all have a room, I mean. And then we said, if you have a bus with an infinite number of people and then infinitely many of those buses, one, two, three, four, five, all the way down, you could still fill up Hilbert's hotel, right? Yeah. Pretty incredible. Cool. But that has another interesting interpretation with fractions, okay? Yep. You ready to see it? So instead of saying, here's bus one, and these are all the people in bus one, and this is seat one, seat two, seat three, seat four, seat five in the bus, yeah. we're going to say these are numbers and these are fractions. This is going to be the number on the top, this is the number on the bottom. So one over one, which is just... Is just one. Right, and then two over one, three over one, four over one, five over one, etc. Yeah, and, then and this is one over two, which is just... Which is one and a half. It's a half. One half. This is two over two. two yeah. Three over two. Four over two. Five over two. What's four over two, by the way? It's two. Two. And then I'll go a little quicker here. One, one over three. Two over three. Three over three. What's three over three? One. Four thirds. Five thirds. And then these are all etc. Yeah. One fourth. Two fourths. Three fourths. Four fourths. Five fourths. One fifth. Two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths, etc., etc., etc. Now we have this cool chart, but it has every single fraction you can make in it. Because if you think of a fraction, like think of a fraction, just tell me what it is. Ten fifths. Ten fifths. That's going to be go over ten down five. Okay. What's another fraction? Twenty-five sixteenths. Okay. You're going to go over twenty-five down sixteen. So we've got all of them, right? Yeah. So the neat thing is we can use the same Hilbert's Hotel argument give me your marker, to list these fractions in order. So we're going we're gonna to snake through like this. Okay? Yeah. And we're going to hit every fraction doing it that way. And then we can see, here's 1 over 1, which is just, which is just 1. That's the first one we hit. 1 half, which would be about here. Yeah. 2 over 1, 3 over 1, 2 over 2, which is? 2 over 2 is 1. 1, we already hit that, but that's okay. Then 1 third, which is here. Then 1 fourth, which is maybe here. Yeah. 2 thirds, over here. 3 halves, which is what? Do you know what 3 halves is? 3 halves is 1 and a half. 1 and a half, very good. 4, 5, 4 halves, what's that? Four halves is two. Two. So we're hitting some numbers twice, but that's okay. Yeah. Three over three is one. Two fourths is a half. One fifth down here. And then we're gonna keep going forever. And what's what do you think this is gonna look like? All our dots are gonna look like when we've gone forever. There's gonna be infinite dots. There's gonna be infinitely many dots, that's right. But what do you think it's gonna look like on the board here? Probably there's if you choose a fraction, there's then there's going to be infinitely more of that that's close closer to that. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to look like a almost like a solid blue line filled all the way in. Yeah. Whoa. And you know what this means? It means that there's the same number of fractions as there are integers. Cool. Is that amazing? Would you have thought that? Well, it's pretty hard to believe. Yeah. Yeah. Because it one, the, the integers just they, they hop and skip all very nicely out every time you have a gap of one, yeah. right? But then these little fractions just fill it all in between. It seems like they do. Now there's some numbers that aren't fractions, like pi. Yeah. And i and e. E. Yeah, i is a different kind of number. i is a complex number, so that's a different kind of number. But e, you're right. The square root of two. Things like that. So it doesn't fill in all the numbers. And that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow.
but it seems like it sure fills in an awful lot of them, and there's the same number of infinity of fractions as there are integers. Can you believe that? No. Yeah. So if I asked you, would you rather go to camp for the number of days equal to the number of integers, or the number of days equal to the number of fractions? What is that? Well, why is that a trick question? Because they're the same. They're the same. Pretty funny, right? Yeah. All right. Good job today. Good job.